Yep. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, topic of conversation for today is going to be investing in Bundaberg. Now, investment properties obviously come along many different categories, and it's interesting when people talk about suburbs and their preferences for their own personal well-being. Well, I guess with investing in, it, in any market itself, it's not just about what you want, it's about what the tenants are looking for. The normal things, obviously, are, are price, location, and access to facilities, but some of our favourite suburbs that seem to be popping up in the Bundaberg area at the moment would have to definitely be Svensson Heights, Norval, Walker Vale, Avenel Heights and Kepnock. Now they're obviously starting to talk about a lot of the market, but Svensson Heights at the moment would certainly be a bit of a hot spot as far as good value for money. When you can start looking at three bedroom, just sort of basic modest homes, but where you get a very strong rental demand, they seem to range in purchase price between two hundred thirty and two hundred and sixty thousand dollars and generally that return within that within that sector would have to be anywhere between the, the two forty to two eighty mark depending on features. Now the main reason why people are looking in Svenson Heights at the moment is obviously it's so close to, the, to medical facilities. It's still so central where you've got great access to public transport and certainly within a couple of minutes you can be at a lot of different private and public schools and either that or a lot of the kids are choosing to walk to we've got quite close primary schools there as well. So all in all the, the Bundaberg investment market itself currently obviously sitting in March here at the moment sitting about 1% vacancy rate so it's a really good strong rental demand not just in Svensson Heights, but across Bundaberg. Um, now with that sector itself, obviously you're going to need to be looking for a good property manager. Um, and it's also not just about what service they offer, but how much they charge, who they service, how they handle their tenants. Um, one of the things we've been discussing lately is not just about obviously the, the basics of property management, but about would that tenant ever rent from that landlord again, or would that landlord take that tenant on? So it's a real, um, real hit and miss kind of scenario, but it's certainly one worth discussing. Uh, and by all means, feel free to drop us a, a question there and we'll be able to discuss things further. And uh, our office number is 4151 3233. And I hope you've found this helpful. Thank you.